As of now, it has been two weeks since I found an issue with my Cosmic Byte keyboard, sent it to the customer support to get it repaired and it's finally back now. They chose to replace the keyboard entirely, so this is actually a new one. So after all this experience and getting in touch with them through email, I think I can give you my full impressions. How good is the Cosmic Byte customer support? Well, in a nutshell, it's actually pretty nice. If that was all you were looking for out of this video, like whether the customer support is good or not before purchasing one of their products, it is quite good. They will give you a full claim on your warranty as long as you have not voided any of their terms and conditions. So yeah, let's get into the details of what exactly happened. A few weeks ago, I posted this update video where I did a six months update on this keyboard where I noticed that some of these keys have a residual glow on their LEDs. Like the F6 and a couple of keys in the alphabetical row and the arrow keys had a green glow underneath them even when the LEDs were turned off. Some of you suggested that maybe it's because there is some dirt or some kind of a dust that's conducting the LEDs to be on. I tried to clean it with some hair dryers and stuff but nothing worked. So anyways, it was under warranty, so I contacted support via email. They asked me to send the product pictures from every angle, front and back. During one of my videos, I had removed that back panel sticker, so that's actually pretty important because it has your serial number. I actually had that sticker with me somewhere, so I found it and I stuck it back on the keyboard. Without it, you can't really claim your warranty apparently, so yeah, keep that around. I also recorded a short video describing what the issue is and I sent it to them. So they said that yeah, they can repair it. But they gave me two disclaimers. One, if there was any kind of a hardware modification done on the keyboard, the warranty is void. And secondly, if they find any liquid damage in the keyboard, then they can't really provide it under warranty and I'll have to pay for the repairs. And they asked me, have you done any hardware modifications? And I mean, uh, not, not really. I mean, yes, I have done a lot of mods, but they're not actual hardware modifications. Like I haven't really like desoldered the switches and replaced them with Automo Blue or something. I've just lubricated them as they are and I haven't really touched or done any kind of uh, changes to the PCB itself. If I had done that, warranty would have definitely been void. The only mod that I did do is that I removed this Cosmic Byte logo that you see. So I asked them if removing this logo voids my warranty and they said they'll get back to me. And then complete silence for one full day. Suspense. I was fully expected to hear a mail saying that if you don't have the logo on there, we can't give you warranty. But thankfully that's not the case. Even if you remove this logo using that method I suggested in one of my videos, uh, you can still claim the warranty. But that reminded me of my second concern which they mentioned about water damage. If you remember, we used a solution of uh, rubbing alcohol and some acetic circa to remove this logo. Now again, rubbing alcohol doesn't exactly damage PCBs. But acetic circa or which is a substitute of vinegar, that might leave some residue. So I was a little worried if they found some traces in there, they'll just void my warranty. And moreover, I was worried that it was my idiotic action that may have caused this problem. But then I remembered that many others have faced the same problem, even those who haven't even lubricated their switches. So obviously it wasn't my doing that caused the LEDs to shine like that. After all, it has been a few months since I removed that logo. So the alcohol and acetic circa would have evaporated since then. So everything was good. As long as this sticker is there on the back, uh, they can easily replace it under warranty. They asked me to package the keyboard ideally with the same box or some kind of a package so that it doesn't get damaged and they'll arrange for a reverse pickup. I didn't have the original box with me. It was destroyed because of various reasons. <clears throat> but I just used some cardboard box that I have to package it up and had it ready. Their office is in Pune, so depending on where you are located, it can take several days to get there. After about 6 working days, I got a confirmation from them that they have received my package and the technicians are working on it. Now they claim that the entire thing will be done in 5-9 to nine days, but again, because of COVID restrictions, it will easily take over 2 weeks, so just be patient. Once they have found a problem, they will take a decision for themselves whether it's easier to repair it or replace it. Most of the time, if it is a PCB problem, they'll replace the entire keyboard. So I guess that was the same issue with mine. My PCB was probably faulty, so they just gave me a new keyboard. They're actually pretty thorough, like they share a detailed demonstration video where one of their uh, technicians actually goes through the keyboard, shows you the RGB, the typing experience and everything. You know, just to have a proof that before it was shipped to you, it was working. So that you know, once you get the keyboard, if something is not working, it's not their fault. It may have been damaged during shipping. That's unlikely to happen because their package is very well sealed. So yeah, the keyboard is fine. The only downside is since this is a new keyboard, I have to do all those mods once again. Like I have to loop these switches, I have to remove the logo. Let's do it in a different way this time. 
But anyways, that in a nutshell is my experience with Cosmic Bytes uh, warranty claim. I usually don't claim warranties on most of my products, so this is one of my earliest experiences. I usually just use my products for a few months and then give it to my friends or sell it to someone. But this was a pretty positive experience overall. The communications were clear, the uh, experience was pretty seamless. Yes, it took a long while, but then again, anything that has deliveries nowadays, given the situation, will take some time. Now that this is a brand new fresh keyboard, you know, we'll have to do all these mods once again, so let me know what kind of modifications you would like to see. I mean, I'll have to loop the switches for sure. They don't sound very good, so I have to make them talk first. Maybe I'll make kind of a compilation video of all the mods that can be done in one place if you get this brand new like I did. If that's something you would like to see, then consider subscribing here on YouTube and also join our Discord for more discussions like this.